Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to build yet another smart help desk system with OpenAI and NoCodeDB. Let us start with creating a project in NoCodeDB. We call it Smart Customer Service Help Desk. Let's create a table called header. We go on by creating the title, the name, the email, the content, the status, summary reply to be suggested by AI. Then, we will move on to create another table, we name it replies. Let's create the first two columns, the reply and the response by column. Then, let's move back to header table and create a link record to link the header and replies. Now you can see, under the replies table, we have a column called header, which is linked from header table. We shall continue to create another three columns, which is actually lookup record from header table. These three columns are sender name, sender email, and the title, which will be used in email response later. Once we're done with the lookup columns, we need to create another three formula columns, which refer to the three lookup columns. The reason is due to webhook from NoCodeDB not able to refer to lookup columns yet. Right, we are done here, let's create a form to give it a try shall we? Once you submitted the form, you will be able to see the record in your header table. Let's take a look in detail. Under the replies section, 
you can add the reply directly to this header. Once you've done that, you shall see the replies in the replies table, and this is how the link data look like. Let's move on to make.com to create a webhook for email trigger. We start with creating a webhook. The first time we created the webhook, we need to use the web services to trigger to the endpoint that no code DB provided. Now, let's go back to NoCodeDB under Replies table and create a webhook. It indicates that every reply will trigger an email to the sender. You need to paste the endpoint URL you copied from make.com. For the body, NoCodeDB already prepared a sample payload that you can make use of it conveniently. Of course, we can always edit it to send only the data required to the webhook. Okay, we are done here to set up the webhook trigger in NoCodeDB. Let's do a test by adding a reply. As you can see, under the make.com the webhook successfully received the data. It is time to make use of the data we received to send an email. To send an email out, we will make use of SMTP connector, and we created once before in previous tutorial. Let's configure the email with the data we sent to webhook from NoCodeDB.
which are the sender email, the sender name, the title, the content, and the help desk personnel name. We are done with the webhook for email trigger. Let's head back to NoCodeDB to give it a try. We started with using a form again to log a new complaint. Once the complaint landed in NoCodeDB, let's open up from header table and do a reply. Due to the nature design of NoCodeDB, at the moment we will see all the replies. For each new complaint, we shall create new reply. Once we submitted the reply, you can see the reply now landed at reply table and correctly linked to the new complaint. Over at the email here, we received the reply from support personnel as well. You basically created a simple and workable customer help desk using NoCodeDB. How about using OpenAI to give the help desk some intelligent? Previously we created a flow with Zane Desk. We can create a similar flow by cloning it and linked it to NoCodeDB instead. Once we clone it, we just need to simply delete the Zane desk and replace with NoCodeDB with correct connection. Let's configure the NoCodeDB to the correct table.
Let's slightly modify the prompt for the open A, we need the summary reply. Okay, we are done here. Let's log a complaint by sending an email, shall we? Once the email successfully sent, you shall see a new complaint already logged under the header table. Open up the complaint, you shall see the complaint from the email, and the summary reply from the AI. We just created a smart help desk system, by using OpenAI, and no code. I am sure by using this example, you definitely can do much more than that.